Hi and welcome to the Mobile Developer Builder Series. My name is David Ha and I'll be your guide as we build a mobile application together on the Now platform. Today we're going to walk through the very first few steps in building a parameterized data item. Today we're going to create a QR barcode applet using a parameterized data item to scan the asset tag of an asset. And we're going to do this by first creating a new list applet, then create a parameterized data item, and then lastly change the user input of our applet from text to QR barcode. Let's get started. On Studio, on our left hand navigation panel, let's create a new applet by clicking on this pop-out icon next to Mobile Builder. We'll create a new applet and we'll name this Asset QR Lookup. We'll give it an icon and color. And then we'll also select the list screen template. This will bring over our primary and detail screen. And once we're done, we'll click new. And now we need a data item. Let's create a new one. We'll name this data item Asset by QR. We'll select the asset table. And then this is going to be a declarative type data item. Once we're done, we'll click save in the top right. And now let's add a parameter for the asset tag field. We'll click on this plus icon. We'll name this asset tag. It'll be a string type field. We have other fields to select from, but in this example, we'll use string. And then we'll click save. And now we have to map our asset tag parameter to the asset tag field in our table. So next to query conditions, we'll select the asset tag field. And then using the contextual reference value icon, we'll map the asset tag field in the table to our asset tag parameter. And once we're done, we'll click save in the top right. Now let's go back to our applet tab. We're gonna select the data item that we just created, which is asset by QR. And then before we get started filling the fields, we're actually going to change the user input of our data item to QR barcode in the parameter settings. And we can see that if we click save in the top right. Underneath the data item, you'll see the option for parameter settings. Let's go ahead and expand this. And if we scroll down until we see UI parameters user input, there'll be an option for asset tag. Let's go ahead and open up this user input. By default, you'll see the input type is uh, text. And we're actually gonna change this to QR barcode if we want a QR barcode scanner. We also have other options for list and search list as well. But what we want today is QR barcode. We can also make this a mandatory type user input. And we can also set the default value type instead of a showing a blank field for users as well. And then once we're done, we'll go ahead and click save. And then we'll also click save in the top right of our applet as well. Now let's select the fields that we want on our applet. But before we get started, let's go ahead and change the list item pattern. We'll select the pattern on the second row, third column. We'll click done, and then we'll say yes to change the pattern. Now let's add in the following fields for E1 on our pattern. We're gonna bring over asset tag. For E2, we'll bring over state. E3 is model. E4 is quantity, and then E5 is class. And then once we're done, we'll click save in the top right. Let's also configure our detail screen of this applet as well. Let's open up our details tab. We'll change the list item pattern of our header to the same pattern that we had. Click done, select yes to change the pattern. And then let's go ahead and replicate from primary. And in the body, we'll bring over another field as well for description or for our sign to. And then once we're done, we'll click save in the top right. And then at this point, we can now review the changes on our mobile device. Back on our agent app, let's go ahead and refresh the home screen. We'll tap into mobile builder and then click into asset QR lookup. And immediately it's gonna ask me for an asset tag. If I tap onto this, we'll pull up my barcode scanner, we'll scan our barcode, we'll click done and search. And this will pull up all the fields on the asset that we configured. I can also click into it to see additional details if I wanted to. And if I want to take quick actions like update asset, I can configure that on the screen as well. And in just minutes, we just created our very first QR barcode scanner using a parameterized data item. 
that allows me to scan and pull up quick reports on my asset. This wraps up our quick introduction to parameterized data items. Thank you for watching.